This effect involves significant use of geometry nodes in Blender. But don't worry, I have simplified the process for you guys, and have provided four different stretchy skin elements for you to use. Now we are going to create a clean plate for our effect. So just simply go to an empty frame and right click to add freeze frame. Then we are going to use roto brush to mask out the actor. So go to the first frame and then start painting the actor. Make it as accurate as possible. This can be quite tedious so to skip this step entirely I would recommend using a green screen. Then once you're done with the first frame, press play and let After Effects automatically do its job. After it's done, scrub through and clean up as much as possible. Once it's done, press freeze to freeze the mask you've just created. This could take some time, so be patient. After that, play with feather and other roto brush settings till you're happy with the results. Add in a key cleaner effect and play with the settings till you like the result. And to refine it further, add inner outer key effect and again play with the settings. If you've done everything correctly, your result will look similar to this. Now let's proceed to tracking. Add Mocha AE effect to the footage and click Mocha button and you'll see Mocha pop-up window. Now create a mask using X-Spline tool around the hand area. And click Show Planar Surface. Deselect Shear under Settings and then simply track it by clicking Track Forwards or Track Backwards button as needed. After it's done, save the project and exit. Now create a null and control click on anchor point tool to center its anchor point. Go to the footage where we used Mocha and go to tracking data. Change the export option to transform and layer export to the null we just created. This will apply the tracking data to the null. Let's go back to Mocha and track the other hand the same way we did earlier. Now if you see tracker deviating from its target, go to settings and select manual motion. Now keep in mind that you have to move planar surface and not the mask to target area. To track again, change it back to large motion and continue tracking. Save and exit. Create another null, rename it and center the anchor point by control plus clicking the anchor point tool. Under Mocha effect, change the layer export to the new null we created. Import one of the stretchy skin elements I've provided in the description. Using the puppet pin tool, create two pins on both the ends of the element. Go to the first pin and Alt-T click the position switch. Paste the expression I have provided in the description. Replace the text with the name of first tracker point. If done correctly, the puppet pin will be parented the to null. Repeat the steps for the second pin. Adjust the scale and add a mask around the element. Adjust the feather to blend it well. Also, enable the motion blur switch for the element. You'll see that it is perfectly attached to the hands. Repeat the same process as many times for different parts according to your footage. Now pre-compose everything except the clean plate.
duplicate it and place it under. Flip it horizontally and then offset it as per your preference. Position the anchor point to bottom the footage and then animate its scale. Make adjustments to refine it. And if everything is done correctly, you'll get something like this. Now we are going to add a little bit of displacement, similar to the show. For that let's create an adjustment layer and add Displacement Map Effect. Create a solid and pre-compose it. Add turbulent noise to it and adjust the settings till you get something similar. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe for evolution. Go to the end frame and change the value. Add a fast blur effect and adjust the value. Now create a mask around it similar to this and adjust the feather value. Create another adjustment layer and add a turbulence displace effect. You can copy the same settings as I used here to get the similar result. Animate the evolution the same way we did in the previous step. Go back to the main composition, and under the Displacement Map effect, use the composition we just created as Layer Map. Adjust the horizontal and vertical values and you'll get something like this. Finally, with some color correction and grading, this will be your final result. Hope you liked the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other effects you guys want to see, and I'll make a tutorial on the most liked comment out of all. Thank you for watching.